In this video, you will learn how to take a thinkorswim indicator from this and turn it into this. Hello everyone, Jonathan here with Excel Help Now and I have a thinkorswim video for everyone today. I have a SPY daily chart pulled up here within the thinkorswim platform. And then below I have the force index oscillator and the top indicator graph here is going to be just out of the box what the indicator is going to look like if you just use the default settings <clears throat> and then below that is what i'm going to walk through today and show you how to add this cloud cover the green and the red above and below the zero line and then also this color gradient to show lowest to highest peak so you can be able to identify trends and divergences better so really a way to make oscillator indicators stand out and visually more appealing and also help you to make better sense of it and to be able to gather insights. So it's gonna be a short video and hopefully um, it's, it's helpful. I will have a link in the description to the code that I'm using to, to do this. And I'm gonna walk through from start to finish how to go about doing this. So first thing is we'll go up to studies and then I'm just gonna go ahead and remove all studies. So we got a blank sheet here of just a standard candlestick chart with the volume subgraph. And we're going to go to studies and I'm going to go to add studies and then we can go, you can choose whatever you like as far as oscillators. This works best if they have a zero line and then movement above and below it. I really like the force index. So I'm going to use that as an example. Okay. So like I said, this is just standard indicator that you're going to get and it's going to have a zero line and then either a positive or negative force index that oscillates around that. 13 periods is the, the default. So once you do that, we can go over here to studies, edit studies, and then you right click, and then do view sources. And you can see the code here. So it's, we declare a lower variable. We have input length equals 13 periods, plot FI, which is our force index. And it's an exponential average of the close today minus the close yesterday times volume. And we're going to do that average over the length, which is 13 in this instance. And then it's going to set the default color to eight. And then we have the plot, the zero line and the zero line color is going to be color five. So that is the, the code. Now what we're going to do is flip over to Excel. And I have here that same code we have, except I've input it's a couple different components. So we saw the input length, the plot, but now we're going to do this FI, which is our force index or whatever indicator you're, you're trying to update. And then we're going to define the color and then we're going to call highest. And then we're going to do color yellow. And I have a color cheat sheet over here for thinkorswim. So if you don't like the colors I'm going to lay out here, you can choose different ones. But we're going to say the highest is yellow and then define color lowest is the red. And then we're going to assign normal gradient color over the length of 13 periods from lowest to highest. And so what that does is, is going to just change this line. That is just the static color. And it's going to add a, a yellow and a red scheme to it just to make it stand out. So you can see over the 13 periods where your, your peaks and valleys are. So you can spot divergences from, from price. And then for the zero line, plot zero line, zero line color. I'm going to make that a light gray. And then this is where we're going to add that cloud co cover. And it's just a simple add cloud for the force index, your zero line, color green above, color red below. It's a pretty simple code. Like I said, we'll go ahead and just copy that, flip back to thinkorswim, studies, edit studies. We can go ahead and just duplicate what we had before. And then just do a paste, copy that in, and then click OK, and then click Apply, click OK. All right, so here's our new study. And so that gradient, you can see it's red down below the, at the lowest point, and then it grades up to a yellow over the 13 periods. And then you can see there's some orange transition. And then you have this nice cloud cover above and below the zero line and I made that zero line gray. So I think this just makes the indicator stand out way better than just this pale line with a red zero line. Uh, so that's all I have today. I hope you found this helpful. 
uh, please consider liking and subscribing. And again, the, the link to the, the code will be in the description. Uh, thank you for watching and God bless.